Hi, in this lesson you will learn the basics of betting in PLO. Let's jump right into it. Bet sizing in PLO is completely different from Hold'em and is very situation dependent. In general, how aggressive you want to be with your betting will be determined by the other players at the table and how they are playing. If they are playing loose and often raise and re-raise pot before the flop, you're going to want to mostly call and only get involved in the pre-flop betting wars with super monster hands. The reason for that is even very strong hands like Ace King, Jack 10, Double Suited can completely miss the flop and constantly getting involved in highly inflated pots pre-flop increases your variance by a ton. You don't want to be gambling, but rather using your edge to see the flop with a wide range of premium hands so that only then and there you can make the decision of whether to invest most of your stack on this hand or not. On the other hand, if the table is pretty passive and everyone is just calling to see the flop, the better decision will be to raise with your premium hands and build a pot so that you can take your opponent's entire stacks on the later streets. So that is pre-flop bet sizing. On the flop and later streets, betting is determined by many factors, but some things worth taking into account are the following. In PLO, players tend to believe you more when you bet, so if you are last to act and everyone else has checked to you, you should often bet because you will likely take down the pot. Especially if the board is paired or there's three cards to a flush and you've got the ace of that suit. When you flop a monster draw, you should bet like you have the nuts so that other players cannot derive any information from your sizing. You're betting the same way whether you have a made hand or a good draw. In PLO, there's often spots where people are scared of the nuts and are easily following good hands and if you have blockers, you can represent the nuts and get better hands to fold. Of course, this is something you will learn with practice and tons of it, but one example could be holding Jack 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 X on an Ace King Queen 10 deuce board. Someone can easily fold a top set there, being afraid of the nut straight, and the chances of that are greatly decreased because of the fact that you've got three jacks in your hand. In fact, your best bluffing opportunities are when you are holding blockers to the nutish hands and the board runs safe. You should start off with a minimal number of bluffs and look for great spots only and then gradually add more bluffs to your ranges. I think Holden players either bluff way too much or way too little when they first transition to PLO. It's best to take it slow as you're only just learning a new game. As for the actual sizing, your most used one will be the full pot or close to it. If the board is paired or super wet, betting half pot or even less is fine. Sometimes donk betting like 5% of the pot is a good idea to find out where you're at. It really depends on the situation and I guess you'll have to experiment a lot to find out what works best for you. But in general, to keep things simple, maybe start out using the full pot bed on most boards and smaller ones on particularly wet or paired boards. So to sum up, pay attention to what's going on at the table and whether players are mostly passive or aggressive preflop and adjust accordingly. You don't want to often get involved in preflop betting wars because they will increase your variance by a ton. If on the other hand everyone is just limping, you should race with your good hands to build a bigger pot and set yourself up for taking your opponent's entire stacks on later streets. Always bet the same way whether you have a made hand or a good draw. Also perhaps I haven't mentioned that, always bet the same way whether you are bluffing or value betting. Best spots for bluffing are when you hold blockers to the nutish hands 
and it's a good idea to start off bluffing the minimum amount and gradually with practice add more bluffs as you learn the best spots for them. Bet sizing is also something very situation dependent and you'll learn it with practice. At the beginning just stick to betting full pot or close to it whenever you want to bet and when the board is paired or quite wet try to bet smaller than full pot, maybe around half pot. Do you want to learn how to play PLO? Are you a beginner player who's never played Omaha before? Do you want to learn how to crush casual players easily? If so, this course is perfect for you. It's a crush course on pot limit Omaha dedicated for beginner players. You will learn all the fundamentals of PLO. You will learn what hands to play, when to play them and how to play them. You will learn the basic strategies that allow you to be a winning player at your home games or microstakes online. If you want to learn PLO quickly and easily, get this course now at gokupoker.com.